Well it's good afternoon my YouTube friends, it's Margaret from Emmy's Orchids and um, I've got one of those what the moment. This is um, Dendrobium Crumomentum. I've had this since 18 and it's always been in this pot <clears throat> and this, these canes, they all wrapped round and it was full of leaves. Now we had quite torrential rain towards the end of last week and um, one of the triggers for this to bloom is um, put it out in torrential rain and then the, um, the warming up afterwards uh, will trigger the blooming. Well, the warming up afterwards has just triggered all the leaves to fall and I'm absolutely gobsmacked because I have no idea what's caused this. So I'm going to unpot this now, let's just have a look what we're dealing with. And, um, and I brought it inside because I've got the Hoyas outside and i got the Hoya Conosa outside. And I brought all those in before this heat started. So they've been inside two or three days. Uh, and then this one's decided just to keel over on me like this. So let's put the camera down, if I can. And uh, let's see what we're dealing with. Now, let me just put this little flap up so I can see what you're seeing. And so we've got, we've got these leaves. I mean, we're, you know, we're all, all of us are talking at the moment about marks on leaves. I have no idea. I mean, all these are marked, aren't they? Can you see them? Every one of them's marked. Now, let's have a look. I mean, even when they're... I mean, they're, they're, my dendrobium delicatum's been outside. Been outside for absolutely ages. See that? Look, oh, sorry. Look at that one. Sudden death, sudden cell syndrome, is it, or whatever it's called? Look at that. And I've only got to move it, and some more fall off. Oh, there's another one that's fallen off. Here, can you see? So I'm thinking, and this, look at this one. This was a cakey. Fortunately, upstairs, I've got some cakeys that are too cough. It has a funny smell to it as well. Right. What's that funny smell? I don't know. Let's have a look. I'm going to empty it out. I've got the bleach here, but there's nothing but on this tray, so I'm just for emptying it out. Let's just do, let's just have a look what we're dealing with. see in there how dry it is. So it's not that it's been kept wet. I'm going to have to get one of these. Oh, and then that art. <coughs> 30 degrees here today and I tell you I have um, I don't, I, don't, I had part of my thyroid removed when I was 27 and um, it was a big operation in those days. And I'm, I'm not on any thyroid medication, but ever since, um, let me just, I don't know how I'm going to get this out. When you see that, that's got to come out somehow because that's holding this wire in. Um, So, if I can 
don't see any crawlies in this medium. And what have we got in this medium? Um, let me see if I can get this out first. Right, I've got that out now. I've got that out. Whew. Okay. Now, you can see, can't you? There isn't, there isn't, there isn't, a, there isn't a live root. There's no live root. Look at that. What are these canes like? What do they feel like? I mean, the canes feel fine, but there isn't, there is not, there is not one live root. So, oh my goodness gracious, what am I going to do with this one? And that cakey, see, look at that cakey. Dead. Dodo, that one is. That's, that's squashed. Absolute dodo, that one. Oh my goodness gracious, now what am I going to do? All these canes. They're fine. It's just that it's bone dry. I'm trying to fathom out how the hell I'm going to get this wire off here. Just bear with me a minute. Let me see how I can get this wire off. Because what I don't want to do is uh, cut this, take this wire off and then uh, actually lose the frame. So let's just see what that, I don't know what that, where that's come from. So let's have a look here. See I've got them all the way around and that goes through the pot. So actually th there's nothing wrong with that pot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the pot. Now have I, got, have I just got it? What with being outside and it's been shocked with going outside. Um, but let's see, there's no new growth and there's no new roots. So I'm really totally perplexed. Absolutely perplexed. Right, just bear with me a minute now, I've got to think about this. I don't know what I'm going to think of it, but um, let me just have a think. Right, what I went upstairs for, I went upstairs for a bowl of uh, calcium mix. Well, it's just calcium. I've done this for the uh, mounts. And uh, so partly the mounts are done. But look at this, look, can you see? I wonder... This is, I don't know what this is. It's only since I put it outside. Well, there's another leaf root. Can you see that? I have no idea. So what I'm going to do, because I need to take advice on this from you experienced orchid growers. And... It's unusual this is. It's got unusual canes. But none of these canes are rotting. But like I say, I've got no new growth. And I've got no new roots. And we're in June now. And, and what, these cakeys, it's a prolific um, cakey. Look at the roots on that. Because... Um, it gives cakeys all the way up these canes. So there you are. It's in. If I put it there. That's just calcium water now. And see. I'm going to gather all these, this rock, lava rock. Lava rock. See that's just cork. Old cork. So... There's nothing wrong with that. 
there's nothing in here. There's a bit of orchid artibar, a little bit of sphagnum moss, and like I say, ooh, um, I'm going to clean this out. I love this pot. And uh, any of you who could come back to me, and uh, sorry about this. Um, I mean, I'm not bothered if it stays in this water for 24 hours, because at the end of the day, it just looks absolutely bone dry, doesn't it? So it won't do it any harm, and if nothing else, I mean, it's just calcium water. I'll have to just kind of wedge it somehow. It's a little bit top heavy. That's why I think I've got this kind of clip underneath. There we go. <clears throat> right, and then we've got another hot day. Um, what day are we today? Wednesday. Another hot day today. Well, a hot day today. 31 tomorrow and 31 on Friday. But on Friday, thank goodness, it's breaking with thunderstorms. And... Uh, like I say. Anyway, anybody out there who's any ideas, it could be this thing that we're all talking about at the moment. It's funny, I, I think Inter, Inter and Roger, I think all these plants are coming out in sympathy. I think they're all feeling the same. So, <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll wait to hear back from some of you if you can. Um, comment me back. Bye-bye now.